What's up everybody, the Poets here. I'm at PAX East at the Intel Suite and they have a lot of different partners here with them. This is a PC that they are giving away in conjunction with Newegg. It's, it's an expensive PC. So you want to check these details out right here. And it's nice and custom. So they call this the Blue Cherry Blossom Gaming PC. It does have an Intel Core i9 13900KS processor. So what that means is it's running at 6 gigahertz out the box. It does have two sticks of Dominator RAM. This is DDR5 RAM, very fast. 32 gigs altogether, and it looks really nice as well. Then, of course, it does have a beefy GPU by PNY. So this is an RTX 4090. Just barely enough space to fit in here, but it's looking stunning with this blue cherry blossom. I'm absolutely loving it. And then, of course, this case is by Fantex. It's the P600S, matte white, and just look at the artwork that's going on right here. Fantastic. Loving the side panel artwork. The motherboard, it's a RG Strix Z790E gaming Wi-Fi. So it's gonna have the latest Wi-Fi 6E uh, compatibility here for the optimal speeds. And of course, with the AIO here, you get to pick whatever type of uh, gift that you want on there. But obviously, Cherry Blossom fits the build perfectly. What's happening, everybody? PAX East is absolutely fantastic. This PC right here is based on The Last of Us. Excellent TV show, excellent video game. I think like part two is coming out, if I remember correctly. This PC is fantastic. The artwork here is, is next level. So what they did, they put a 13900KS processor in this thing. Uh, a Radeon 7900 79, XT GPU that has 20 gigs of VRAM, 64 gigs of RAM, DDR5. It, it's they, they stacked it in here in one of the height cases. So height, I bet power, they're doing it up with their new case lines. And when you have a mod like this, it's spectacular. The Last of Us Blue Horse Studios custom PC mod. They put a lot of work into this for PAX East. And it's so tall, I have to actually back up, which is hilarious. But if you get close, you'll see all the little things that they did to really show like wear and tear on this height case. So height is a division of I power for those that don't know. And yeah, they've done a spectacular job. This is actually the first height case I've seen built on its side like this. And you can see the sculpture that they did. It's absolutely spectacular. You can see the RAM in there. It is Kingston Fury DDR5. I'm a big fan. So shout out to Height and Be Quiet for putting this together. This is an absolutely fantastic area for iBet Power as a whole. And yeah, there's a lot more to see. So stay tuned for more. Continuing coverage of PAX East. So this is a build where I'm actually at the Intel suite and Intel has done something awesome. They've partnered with companies like Asus that's right here, Newegg and many others. And PAX East has that vibe of, hey, let's kind of come together and you know, we're in this together. Yes, the tech sector is a little shaky right now with a lot of layoffs, just, you know, bad news left and right. But when you have things like this, where it's like, hey, Asus is here, Intel's here and a bunch of others, they get to do interesting builds like this together and bring in content creators like myself that are specialists in PC building, water cooling, things that I wish I could do. This is by GGF and Stuart is the one that put this together. Excellent guy, I'll interview him later in another video. But this is a PC build where Intel sent him a template and was like, hey, can you do... <laughs> I stole it. Can you do something based on this, right? And I absolutely love the color scheme, love the artwork. So they did a very nice job on this. See if I can carefully put it back. I did. And so with that color scheme, he was actually able to do some frosted glass, like basically kind of spray painting gently on the glass here. We have a uh, Bits Power, I think it's Bits Power, yeah, Bits Power GPU water block on here as well as a CPU water block, a Z790 motherboard, and this thing has like a mirror finish down here as well. Absolutely beautiful with this, I guess, teal and kind of pinkish color scheme. It works so nicely. And there's a number of other builds that are like this, some that are built into a wall, uh, others that are other styles of custom water cooling. 
and they're actually giving away a lot of PCs as well. So this is so much fun to be able to see these interesting artwork PCs, and then some are being given away. You know, join Intel's uh, you know Creator Discord and Insider Discord. There's different ways to win. Some people are doing like scavenger hunts as well. PAX East just has all kinds of abilities for winning PCs. And so this is the end of day one of PAX East. So many great manufacturers here, awesome people, Dungeons and Dragons, board games going on, uh, different contests, free PCs. This is spectacular. I'm absolutely loving that the world is kind of opening back up so we can have events like this. Shout out to Intel for helping to make this trip happen. Uh, Newegg as well. And I'm doing a thing of uh, highlighting a particular streamer as well. So I want you to take a look at Lex. I'm gonna do some uh, little B-roll of him, but he's an awesome variety streamer, awesome games, a lot of Elite Dangerous, some Star Citizen, and a bunch of other games, pirate-based games. He's a cool dude. So definitely check him out. Link in bio for anything like uh, streamer of the month that I'm kind of doing here, as well as interesting items I think you might want to be interested in. So check out the link in my bio. If this is on YouTube, do uh, link in description, all that stuff. You know it. All right, more to come. So later in the evening, guess who I'm with? The creator of that build for Last of Us. So I want him to introduce himself, his company. I'm going to link the build video uh, down below as well. So please. Hey everyone, I'm Ron from Blue Horse Studios. We're the creator of the Last of Us project. I've been a huge fan of the game uh, since like, 2013, 2012, whenever it came out on the original PlayStation. Um, we created this project for uh, the game release, actually. It's coming out on PC next month. So, uh, for celebration of the Last of Us coming out on PC, we created this project for Hype and Be Quiet, and, uh, as well as several other partners. Uh, we used the Hype Live 40 case, uh, basically took it all the way down to scratch. Built it back up. There's a lot of scratch building that happened in the projects. Uh, we can 3D printed Ellie and the clip. Um, this is kind of to represent. There's a part in the second game where she's exploring the city with uh, Dina and she sits down and plays the guitar and she's on this top of this old uh, busted up, rusted looking radiator and she's playing that song Take On Me by Ah. That kind of represents, it's kind of inspired by that song of Dread Take because the clip is behind it, obviously. But um, it's kind of inspired by that scene. Um, for me, that game is it's, it's a masterpiece, both one and two. I, I know a lot of people feel, have opinions about part two, but for me, the game, the whole story of The Last of Us is just something that's always was really dear to me. Yeah. And creating this project, getting the opportunity to create this project, I was, I was all over it. I was really excited. So, as you can tell, it's on display here at PAX East in Boston, and people are just like gawking at it. Photos everywhere, videos everywhere. So, again, I'll put a link down below for the build process yeah. that, that he went through with all that. And um, please give them a like and follow and all that stuff. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. All right. Yeah. Let's have some food. Yeah. There we go.